Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to talk about this fine, fine AmpliGame A8 corduroy condenser microphone. Already did the unboxing, and here it is. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has the 3.5 millimeter um, audio monitoring jack in the bottom. It has a C-style power um, plug in the bottom as well of the, of the microphone. I don't know how good you can see it there. It has this cool pop filter or windscreen, whatever you want to call it. It mutes from the top. It has adjustable RGB lights. It has this button right here in the back, and it can do a variation of different RGB lights, which is cool. It also has a volume knob. The only, can, only thing about this volume knob that I don't like is this volume knob is on back of the microphone at the very bottom. And a feller like me that has these big meat hook hands, as you can tell, I just come home from the slaughterhouse. It's going to be sort of hard to get back here with this thing being plugged up to, to actually turn the volume up and down. So you would need to set your volume where you want it before you start uh, recording, broadcasting, uh, live streaming, uh, vlogging, whatever it is you do. You would need to get that set up before you started doing that. Uh, overall, this microphone reminds me of the microphone that I am using now, uh, which is a HyperX Quadcast microphone. Now, this microphone comes in roughly around $50. This one comes in close to $100. So you could almost buy two of these for the price of this one. Um, pretty much this was the same thing. It mutes on the top. Uh, it has the volume uh, wheel on the bottom of this one, and this one's on the back. This one this is just a red light. There's no adjustable RGB or anything. It's just red. This one here you can adjust. Mutes from the top. Um, it does have the 3.5 millimeter monitoring input jack, and it does have four different settings as far as your patterns. It's corduroyed, uh, unidirectional, and I forget the other two, but that, that doesn't matter because we're not reviewing the HyperX. We're reviewing this bad boy. Um, this thing here, the only thing that I can tell you that, that I don't like about it, and it, I'm just nitpicking because I got these big meat hooks, is I don't like where they got this volume knob, but that's not a big deal because most time I have all my stuff set up before I start live streaming. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take and do a comparison. This is going to be a versus battle. The HyperX Quadcast, which is $100, versus the Fine Fine Ampli8 A8 uh corduroyed condenser uh, corduroyed condenser microphone i'll get it out here in a minute guys i do so many microphones that my head's all jumbled like i say if you look at the if you look at the build they sort of resemble each other they sort of resemble each other like i say um this is the audio coming from the HyperX. i am probably about 18 inches away the volume is on two on the HyperX. And I am going to set this one up the same way, and we're going to do an audio comparison. Um, and we're going to take and see if the fine fine lives up uh, to the HyperX, because that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for, because it looks relatively similar. So stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are using the fine fine AmpliGame A8 uh, corduroy condenser microphone, and I've got to say this thing is so freaking sleek looking um how's the audio sound can you hear a big difference between this hundred dollar microphone versus the fifty dollar fine fine ampli game a8 i bet you can't i bet maybe this one might even be a little bit louder because i think this microphone here is just a tad bit more sensitive uh it does have the green indicator on top to let me know that the microphone is live and i do really like that and i can take and press the top it will light up red and it will mute. Check this out. Wow, that was a that was a really goofy face I just made. Uh, also, the like I say, these are set up the same way. The volume, uh, the volume adjustments are the same. Everything is exactly the same. I was using this one on a corduroy pattern. I'm using this one on the corduroy pattern. Of course, this is the only pattern that comes in this microphone which that's what I use anyway. I don't use any other kind of pattern. So now I'm going to take and actually see if I can change the lights. I know if you press the hold, if you press like a long hold on the back, it actually turns the light off. 
Let me see if I can find it. Okay, all right, turns it off. And then, let me see if I can find it again. There we go. And just barely tap it, it changes colors. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But like I say, the only drawback to me, I sort of wish, and this is just me nitpicking, I sort of wish the RGB light and the volume, uh, volume wheel, volume rocker, whatever you want to call it, I wish it was somewhere maybe on the side or even possibly underneath the way the Hyper X is because it is a little difficult with me having these big hands for me to navigate to find it. But as far as changing the RGBs, I would probably, honestly, I would never really do it. I would probably keep it on the same color. But that right there, the the change in the RGBs, that's that's pretty cool. Because I'm I'm big into RGB. My computer's all RGB. Um, but the only downfall, I wish they would move the volume rocker to underneath, um, to underneath the microphone or maybe on the side or something. Um, I don't know. I think it would be a bit more beneficial on the back, on the bottom than on the back. But for I think it's forty eight dollars and ninety nine cents. This is a pretty awesome microphone. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, the versus battle. Uh, do you want to spend a hundred bucks for some really great features, or do you want to spend half that for some great features plus the change in the RGB lights? Uh, the same features as Mutant, uh, the volume, uh, you know, the volume wheel. The only the only difference that you're going to get with the HyperX for that extra 50 bucks is this is an all metal construction and you can change uh, the, the patterns on it. It has four patterns where uh, this one is just a corduroy pattern, which most people use a corduroy pattern unless they're doing a vlog or something or like a, uh, a meeting or something where they need the microphone to pick up from all areas. But for me, for 50 bucks, this is a winner. Uh, chicken dinner. Oh, speaking of dinner, I got to go. See you guys.